Hello everybody, this is me Amin from SergiChow.com and we are at the Xiaomi booth here at Mobile World Congress 2024 and this is the Xiaomi SU7. Xiaomi calls it the full-size, high-performance, eco-technology sedan, whatever that means, but it looks familiar, don't you think? The Xiaomi SU7 is a symbol of a Xiaomi's commitment into IoT. So they're moving from devices like smartphones to home appliances and now to cars. And all of these systems will be running the Hyper OS operating system. And that completes Xiaomi's ecosystem of smart devices for people to use. So the SU7, as you can see, The SU7, as you can see, is inspired, I would say, by the Porsche Taycan. And even Xiaomi's founder, during the unveiling of the SU7, says that the SU7 can perform better than the Porsche Taycan Turbo. There are two versions of the SU7, the standard SU7 and the one you see here, the SU7 Max. It goes from 0 to 100 in just 2.78 seconds. It has 636 horsepower, 838 newton meters of torque, and a top speed of 265 kilometers per hour. As far as EVs go, this performs just like a normal car. Because it's an EV, it has a battery. So the battery in the SU7 Max is really big, 101 kilowatt hour to be specific, and it has a rated range of 800 kilometers. I'm a bit skeptical considering the performance of the car. Getting 800 kilometers is going to be very difficult. So you're looking at probably from the EVs that I've tried with similar output, about maybe 400 to 500 kilometers. In terms of battery architecture, the SU7 Max has an 800 volt architecture which means it can charge faster. Xiaomi has not been specific about the charging rate but it claims that you can get about 510 kilometers of range in just 15 minutes. So in Mobile World Congress, the big technology showcase for the year, Xiaomi only brought one SU7 and you must be wondering why. Well because this is considered a pre-release. So Xiaomi says the SU7 will be available in China in February but no price has been announced and no order has been opened up for people to purchase or buy the car. So I'm not sure whether Xiaomi is going to meet that deadline and uh, but it's interesting to see. So we can't really check out the model we can't really touch and feel open the door and see what's inside so as far as i'm concerned there's still a lot to be proven while the su7 max has supercar beating performance the su7 base model is no slouch either it goes from 0 to 100 in 5.2 seconds has about 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque about 73 kilowatt hour battery in terms of ev the performance of the SU7 standard model is pretty good as well. Okay, what do I think about the SU7? Well, to be fair, for a first car from Xiaomi, a brand that is known to make smartphones and rice cookers, this is pretty amazing. I mean, just look at it, right? So while it is amazing and it has amazing technology, I'm not sure whether Xiaomi is really committed and serious about making this a global car. And Xiaomi has not revealed any plans on whether they're going to make a right-hand drive version. That means we don't know whether this car is going to come to Malaysia. The other thing, for a first car, if I can say, I would prefer Xiaomi make an SUV. SUV is more in demand and from what I can see when you have SUV in an EV platform there's so many other things you can do with it you can take it camping you can use the V2L to go out and, and spend time outdoors and it's more practical when you want to put things inside the boot in, an, in a sedan format there's really not much you can do you can drive it around drive it fast you can't carry a lot of people so as a car that can do everything 
the SU7 is not it. Alright, that's what I think about the SU7. Since the car is right in front of me right now, let's take a look at the details. Let's go. 4-port Brembo brakes with 20-inch wheels and Michelin Pilot Sport EV tires. Come take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The car has over 12 cameras. It's ridiculous. All right, up there at the top, the thing that looks like a taxi sign is a LiDAR. And that's for autonomous driving. And then come here, come here. If you look at the dashboard, there's a big hole. That is for the 56 inch heads up display. 56 inches of heads up display. How does that even work? And I forgot to mention, it has all wheel drive. So a moto at the front and a moto at the back. All right, everybody, that's a quick look at the Xiaomi SU7. Not sure when it's coming to Malaysia or even if it's coming to Malaysia. The thing is, it's a sedan with a boot. And like I said, as an EV, that's more of a gadget on wheel with capabilities like V2L, which means it can be a power bank for you to take it for camping or do other outdoor activities. This body shape is not for me. And the biggest question that I would like to ask everybody, would you drive a car that has a Xiaomi badge on it? All right, this is me, Amin, and that was a quick look at the SU7. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to drop comments and questions about the car. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. This is me, Amin. Catch you guys later. Bye.